in this video i am going to tell you how to maintain and assign the baseline we have a first update that is up to 20th may we want to check compare uh, and check and compare uh, made comparison from uh, baseline so um, i will tell you how to may, uh, assign the baseline with that uh, first of all uh, open this project then go to the project uh, menu here you can see maintain and assign baseline first of all we have to maintain the baseline at which project we are going to um, maintain the baseline with this update project here you can see that the title of this project which we have opened we are going to add uh, or maintain the baseline after clicking add button here there are two options it is asking that save a copy of the current project as a new baseline or convert another project to a new baseline so i am going to convert another project which we have saved earlier as a baseline i am going to convert another project click ok here i have to um, uh, assign that uh, baseline which i have saved earlier so i am going to select this one as a baseline after clicking add here you can see that the training project baseline with that same name is appeared here and uh, you can rename here, here as well uh, here there are some types uh, baseline types customer sign off initial plan last performance update it's up to you which you want to uh, select according to the situation suppose i'm going to select here as a an initial plan and data date is same as uh, the project start date uh, close it uh, in this way i have maintained the baseline now i'm going to attach the baseline or assign the baseline same go to the project menu and assign go to the assign baseline option here uh, you know, the project title is showing here which we have uh, opened right now and uh, we have to assign the baseline right now so i'm going to select all the baseline which have been assigned maintained will be showing uh, here in the drop down so i'm going to select the uh, training project baseline as a uh, project baseline and the primary baseline is uh, uh, training project baseline if you have more than one baseline you can uh, uh, select in the secondary and tertiary but right now we have made one baseline and we are going to show that uh, whether it is assigned or not i am going to select uh, ok now uh, the baseline has been attached and uh, you can see from the bottom in the status bar that uh, baseline is training training project baseline and uh, when the baseline is not attached you can see here it will be written as a current project now the baseline is attached we want to show in the activity table and in the gantt chart i'm i'm going to add some of the columns go to the columns and with this uh, baseline and uh, after that uh, you can apply and you can see that uh, uh, what is the difference between the right now between the baseline and the uh, actual progress update so you can see that uh, some of the active at the top level you can see that our baseline pro finish date was 16th of october as per update our project is expected to be completed on uh, uh, 2nd november 20 so uh, by using this uh, progress line you can see uh, that uh, uh, if this red color is uh, behind uh, the data date it means that you are behind the schedule if uh, this red date uh, red uh, line is uh, after the blue date it means that you are ahead of the schedule so if you want to see uh, the variance in the uh, column you have to uh, se select the some variance uh, uh, columns I have uh, selected the some of the columns for the comparison. I have added uh, the variance minus project finish date. It means that we are uh, 11 days behind uh, what we have planned earlier. And according to the baseline schedule, we were uh, planned 0.554% and uh, our progress is 0.25%. It means that we are 0.29% uh, uh, behind the progress and here you can see the project baseline cost is showing here and what we have earned till now you can see from here earned cost or in other words you can see actual total cost which is uh, uh, updating from the progress what we have entered the progress it is updating the cost as well on the right side you can see this the gantt chart uh, gantt chart i have um, as, uh, um, created the target bars uh, by going into the bars option and here i have uh, selected some of the bars uh, and here you can see the comparison that uh, uh, this milestone is behind the target uh, uh, bar and here you can see that the bottom baseline bars are showing and uh, you are uh, behind the schedule 
this is the way how you can uh, compare the uh, actual progress with the planned progress uh, either into the activity table and either into the Gantt chart you can see the comparison uh, this progress line is showing uh, that you are behind the schedule this is the blue line that is the data date on which we have scheduled the this progress line can be hide or uh, appear by using this icon uh, by clicking on this icon once it will appear and once it will disappear so uh, on the left side if we see the activity table this is the expected finish date according to the pro progress update uh, uh, we are expecting that our project is going to finish on 2nd November 2020 and we are 11 days behind the schedule and uh, our schedule performance index is uh, 0.46 it means that we are more than halfway behind what we have planned it means that uh, against the 100 uh, against the plan of uh, 0.44 percentage and we are uh, completed 0.25 percent it means that we need some more uh, manpower more uh, um, mitigation plan against uh, this uh, uh, lag uh, so that we can complete the project uh, on time 